guys welcome back um so I just in my last video reviewed Threaderella from the Scarily Ever After line um which is also Frankie Stein if you guys don't know uh <laughs> we also have reviewed already um Spectra and Cleo from the Midnight Runway um, collection. Let me move over so you can kind of see them a little bit. So yeah, we got Spectra and Cleo from the Midnight Runway Haunt Couture um, collection. I guess the doll lines. We oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to move these boxes, but I can show you. These were the Haunt Couture ones. Um, we also did, um, Demi Batista from Shadow High, um, Claudine Wolf from the Holiday Winter Edition, um, we did Jade from Always Brats, we've done Cleo, no, not Cleo, Claudine and Frankie from Monster Fest from G3, we've done Draculore from one of the signature waves in G3, and... Um, tour live from Neon Frights Skultimate Secrets. So we're moving on now to another one of the Scarily Ever After dolls. And I think we should do Snowbite next, um, which is also Draculaura. So this is what she looks like inside the box. And I'm going to be reading the back of these ones. Um, so, hold on. Alright. Once there was a kingdom where the ghouls were wondrous... Was that? Okay, yeah. Once there was a kingdom where the ghouls were wondrous and fair, yet none could hold a candle to snow bite of the raven hair. In manner she was proper and graceful, in attitude generous and kind, that she was considered the fairest never crossed her mind for she shared a gothic cottage deep in a prim in a primeval primeval woods or wood with seven friends who were zombies and for the eight of them on life was good sorry my mouth is a little bit dry so i'm kind of having trouble reading um but uh let's take her out of the box real quick so i can get to the diary and read that for you guys and then i will unbox her so this is what the what her little diary looks like or her storybook if you want to call it that too um all right let's see we got like this the um i'm gonna just gonna say right now the artwork in these books are so so good i love it all right once there was a kingdom where the ghouls were wondrous fair yet none could hold a candle to snow bite of the raven hair in manner she was proper and graceful in attitude generous and kind that she was considered fairest never crossed her mind for she shared a gothic cottage deep in the woods with seven friends who were zombies and for the eight of them on life was good so that's basically what it says on the back of the box and then that's the artwork for the first page but elsewhere in the kingdom lived a princess who was almost as fair but almost wasn't good enough for this royal dynastic heir. Each day she would consult a mirror that answered her questions true, yet the answer to her only question was Snow Bite is still fairer than you. So the princess decided to fix it so that she'd be alone at the top and she reached for a beautiful apple from that year's bummer crop or bumper crop. I'll use a special amulet to curse this apple to its core, so that when Snow Bite has a taste of it, she'll be the fairest no more. So we got 
Cleo as the uh, bad guy in this one. And you could see Snow White or Snow Bite as Draculaura in the mirror. So the princess drank a potion that made her shabby and gray, though it really hurt her fashion sense to have to dress that way. Then she snuck out to the cottage and found a place to lurk while she waited for the zombies to shuffle off to work. But before she could put her plan in motion, with the apple cursed, Snowbite came out of the cottage and happened to see her first. Why, hello there, won't you come in? I've put, I've just put on some tea and I have warm, I have warm carrot muffins that are totes tasty as can be. So honestly, I'm going to say right now, um, the shabby and gray outfit that she has is like actually really, really pretty. Um, but this is Cleo as half and half. <laughs> so yeah. Then we got, <laughs> she had not at all expected Snowbite to be so sweet and nice, and that thought of her giving her the apple actually made the princess think twice. So the princess asked for a mirror. She wanted to steady her face, but Snowbite said, a mirror? I don't have one in this place. You see my face is not reflected in polished metal, still water or glass, and I'd rather not be reminded of that whenever I, whenever one I pass. This confused the princess greatly as she decided what to do next with her hand around her bright green apple that carried Snowbite's hex. So this is the other page. I really think that Cleo's look in this is actually really cute. So. Um, oh, and now it got even better. Okay. Then the princess pulled the apple out as she was headed toward the door and dropped it in the trash can saying, this thing's rotten to the core. And least, and lest you think the princess had totally changed her stripe, she said, if Snowbite can't see her reflection, then who am I to gripe? Once there was a kingdom where the, where the ghouls won, were wondrous fair, but Snowbite was still the fairest of all of the princesses, and of all, and the princess didn't care. So she stopped caring, and we got this lovely picture here. So look at Cleo. So pretty. I really like that. That was, it was cute. So I got like a little good friendly ending there. Um, <laughs> which wouldn't happen in the original one, but <laughs> anyways, I'm going to unbox Snowbite and I will be back. All right. So now we got Snowbite out of the box. She's so pretty. Again, like, um, last video with, uh, Threaderella, I had to redo her hair. Like I had to re-put in like a... I missed one of the uh, little taggy things here. Hold on, give me one second. All right, there we go. But I had to re-put in one of the rubber bands because uh, it kind of deteriorated over time. I might have to do the same thing for uh, the other dolls as well. Um, but that's okay. Um, I think I also have to like redo some of my other dolls that I have on my shelves now because those might have deteriorated as well over time because we don't have any of those tiny little rib bands that can't deteriorate over time which sucks because I would love rubber bands that won't do that <laughs> because I wouldn't have to redo my doll's hair all the time. Especially when I don't really know how to do hair that well. <laughs> so we uh, we're gonna get into the review. We got her uh, shoes here. They're black and pink and green. So we got like this pink bow um, going like out to underneath her uh, shoe and tying up into this little bow. 
And then we got this, like, there's a poison apple on the back of her shoe. The leaf is floating out towards the back of the heel. And then um, we have, like, I guess poison um, dripping down, and that created the heel. It's really cool. I like those shoes. Um, I feel like they'd be a little bit cooler, like, in a different way, too. I just can't put a finger on... Um, exactly what um her dress is actually really fun i feel like a lot of people would probably like i think a lot of people have um said nasty things about um the look of this doll but i actually really think she's so cute um the colors are really cute um i really really like it we have like this black tool underneath the dress um and we have like this ratty kind of um, raggedy, jagged, like, cut, um, and ripped, uh, pink part here with, like, a bunch of, like, skeletons on it. There's black and gold, or no, black and, like, uh, metallic green, metallic lime green. Um, I really think that the skullet, like, being, like, they're actually, um, they're actually apples, like the skullette apples. I think that's really cute. Um, we also have another like poison dripping kind of thing. This is lime green, um, and it's like a velvety kind of texture. Um, we have this bow as a belt around her uh, dress, and it has the pink poisoned apples on them. And then we have like the same puff, like the same uh, material as this, as like a puffy sleeve going to both shoulders. Her necklace, it's kind of like the drips again, like the the uh, lime green poison apple kind of drips. Then we have her earrings, which are poison apples, like the green poison apples. They kind of look more translucent on. Um, on camera but they aren't um her hair is kind of it kind of i think some glue has seeped out um but it's not as bad it's really not that bad on her um her makeup looks like she has like very deep purple lipstick on um she has a pink her pink heart that she always has on her cheek with um some poison apple like green seeping down from it um and it also has like a little leaf on it too which i think is super cute i think that's a really cute detail and her um her eyes are like a kind of dark green like a um almost foresty green and then like a uh lime green at the top and i think that's really cute too i mean you can't really see the shade difference that well on the camera but I really think that this doll is adorable. We also have her, um, what she came with the, oh, she does. She comes with a brush too, one of the Skullette brushes, just like Threaderella did. Uh, she comes with her stand, um, which isn't one of the Skullette ones. It's like the, one of the, um, just regular Monster High ones, just like the Threaderella one. And we come, uh, well, we come, she comes with a uh, little handbag as well. And it's a lime green poisoned apple. And I think this one opens. I don't know if Threaderella, one, uh, if Threaderella's opens, but um, I think it does. But it's just really hard for me to get it open and I don't want to break it. So... This one's already kind of flimsy as it is, so I'm kind of, like, scared um, to keep opening it, but. It's really cute. I really like this one a lot. Um, let me see if I could get her to hold on to her purse here. I might have to take off her hand for it. Okay. Let me see. Alright. 
go. I'm going to pop back in. There we go. But yeah. I really like it. Her hair is really pretty too. I don't know if I said anything about her hair. But like there's a swoopy little kind of ponytail right there. Um, the top of her hair is all black. And then the bottom half is where the pink comes in. Um, for her Draculaura part or aspect of it. Um, but yeah, she's really cute. And I'm so obsessed. <laughs> I really like this line of dolls a lot. Um, I might have to do something because like her dress keeps like popping up and I feel like it was probably because it was put in the box or not put in the box but like sat in the box for so long that like it just like somehow folded up and now it just keeps popping up constantly. But um, yeah, she's really cute. I love her. Um... I mean, I'm going to put her on her stand, and then I'm going to move on to our final Scarily Ever After doll. And I'm excited for that. So I have, like, two more videos to do. And that is the Scarily Ever After, and then the budget um, Equestria Girl dolls. And I have six of those, so we're going to have some fun with those. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. I'm really happy with all of the dolls that I've been reviewing today. And I'm so, so happy. Because <laughs> I haven't, I'm so happy that I'm getting to unbox them now. Um, but yeah, I've had, I've had these Scarily Ever After ones for many, many years. Um, And I finally actually got to let them go and get out into the real world um, instead of being boxed up and, you know. <laughs> so I'm excited to put them on my shelf or on a shelf. Um, but, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video to review this last doll here and then... Yeah, after that, I'll see you do six of them. Bye-bye. <laughs>